Hello and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to start the second section, which is a very important section. We talk about the navigation and specifically we talk about Flutter Web. So this is a very core tutorial that we'll be using throughout inside our Flutter app development or in the Flutter web development. So we are officially going to start the section two of our Flutter e-commerce admin panel. In this section, we are going to talk about the routing and navigation inside Flutter Web. And previously we used the GetX in Flutter e-commerce app for for Android and iOS but how you're going to manage the URLs inside the Flutter web so this is going to be very useful tutorial and you might not be able to find some of the content on YouTube or maybe on the browsers so make sure to watch the video till end So first of all, GetX, what is name navigation? Because we did not use name navigation inside our e-commerce apps before. So I'm going to talk about that. What is the difference between the simple navigation and the name navigation and why we need to use that? And the third one is how we can pass the data between screens when we are going to talk about specifically in Flutter web. Definitely we can use this approach in apps as well. So the first section you can see over here is a simple navigation. When I'm going to click on this default navigation, it is going to take me to the second second screen which is very fine and over here in the URL this is what you have to note that uh, we do not have anything inside the URL the URL is empty this means that whenever we are going to click on any of the screen the URL remains same so this behavior is not the default behavior of the web applications so we have to modify this so let's go back inside you can see we have a second option which is the get X navigation which is again a simple navigation not the name navigation but when I'm going to click on this it is going to add a hash sign and after the hash sign it is going to all the exact same screen which is the second screen just removing its spaces the rest it will remain same we cannot modify the url using this strategy as well but using this at least we have something in the url and the reason to use the get x is definitely we're going to do the practical in few minutes but we are not we are not going to pass the context we will see how simply we can call the next screen using get x and we are not uh, receiving any data we are not passing any data it is a very simple thing and then again we have two ways to go to the previous screen or remove the current screen the first one is default one the first one is the simple way to go to the previous screen so when i'm going to click on this you can see url is removed i am in the previous screen now the second option is the name navigation using the name navigation again we have two ways we are going to use the navigator which is a simple default flutter provided name navigation and the one provided with the getx they both are similar there is uh, nothing that much of change in it but the major benefit of using the getx name navigation is that we do not have to pass the context this means that we can easily call this from any screen without requiring the context but if we are going to talk about this one that the default navigation requires the context this means that we cannot use that in the controllers or wherever we do not have the context so uh, when i'm going to click on this default name navigation uh, you can see this is the custom provided or my own provided name which is being displayed in the url flutter basically provides two type of url strategies the first one is the hash based url strategy and the second one is path based url strategy so definitely we will we have have the default hash sign but we will learn also how to use the path based url strategy so by using the default navigation we can use the custom route which is provided by us and again the same we have the same route the simple difference is that we do not need the context is a very important thing when we are going to use controllers and some other screens and from there we have to call the next screens or specific screens the next thing is that we how are you going to pass the data between two screens right we're we going to use the get x and the question is how are you going to pass the data and how our url will be changed between screens when i'm going when we are going to talk about this name navigation because uh, we should have to be used the name navigation when we're going to talk about the flutter web so if we're going to talk about the flutter web how are you going to pass the data from one screen to another screen so when we're going to click on this get x pass data you can see url is remain same but over here we have a data which is get x is fun with coding with t and an icon so this text has been passed from the previous screen which we're going to see in a minute and the second button is pass data in url so now this time we are not passing the data directly but we are going to pass the data which is second screen this for the default url then another question mark we have a device phone id this one and name is equal to this one so we are displaying the data or we are going to get that data in the second screen like this way 
and the third thing is how we are going to combine pass the arguments maybe some data that we do not want to display in the url and some data that we want to display in the url so by that case you can see we have both data over here so this is what we're going to learn in today's tutorial that is going to be very informative so make sure to watch the tutorial till end so let's get started with today's tutorial okay so i am inside the project we created for our flutter admin panel in which we already covered in section one that we have configured everything you can see the firebase has been initialized we created our folder structure all the assets and everything is setup you can download the starter kit again from the description below with all the assets and all the folder structure everything is already created okay now inside this main node dart we have a simple app this is a stateless widget inside we have a material app that we have to convert to get material app in order to use the getx specifically for routing and navigations and also for the dependency management so i have just changed this material app to get material app so that we can use that features now currently on the right side you can see we have a simple local host pointing towards the current project which is simply running and in the center we have the admin panel so first and foremost we have to create simple two classes two status widgets the first one is i'm going to name it first screen and let's create another one i'm going to name it second screen so we have two screens and inside at the home let me just remove this and we are going to call the first screen when our application loaded now inside this first screen remove this placeholder with a scaffold i've created an app bar inside the scaffold with the title saying first screen so when i'm going to save this you can see we have the first screen right over there with the app bar now inside i'm going to create the first section buttons and for that inside the body you've created a center widget and as a column to make it center make sure it is a minimum and then the first one is a text and then i've created a size box and inside we have an elevated button in that i have created two buttons the first one is the simple button with the default navigation and the second one is with the getx navigation and to use the simple navigation to navigate to the next screen we simply have to call the navigator dot of context dot push method so this is the method that is going to redirect to the next screen and with the material page route we have to create a builder inside the builder we have to call the next screen you can see it is quite a long and quite a hectic routine to call simply a next screen but on the other hand if we're going to compare with the get x is a simple next screen calling just have to write get dot two and as a function we are going to call the second screen so that's it these two lines are very much similar but get x is uh, going to perform the same operation but for the flutter web it is going to also add the second screen this name into the url as well so let me save this you can see we have a text with the two buttons when i'm going to click on this default navigation it's going to take me to the next screen which is currently empty which is the second screen so you exactly knew that we are on the second screen let me create remove this placeholder and in the scaffold i've created an app bar with a second screen written over there so let's save it now let's go to ne next screen and you can see we have a second screen let's go to back again we are going to go for the next with the get x and at the top you can see the url is also changed and when again go back default screen nothing inside this url so once again to use the getx navigation you must have to use this get material app not a simple material app so this was for the first part now to create the second with the name navigation we have to do something let me create the buttons first okay so this is the second part which is the name navigation i've added a divider then a text and then again Two buttons you can see over here but inside you can see i have to call navigator dot of context dot push named and then i have written in the strings which is second screen so how the system is going to know that what is this string and which screen that i have to show whenever this button will be pressed the same way without using the context using a get x i just have to write get dot two name and then again the same string so what this string is but first of all to compare these two things you can see we are not using we are using the context over here but we are not using the context with the get this means that we can call this from any controller from any screen without requiring this get x but if we are going to use this approach this means that we are going to require the context and we have to pass the context along the way now to understand the name navigation we have to define these names so if i'm going to get towards 
the material lab inside this material lab we have a property which is routes property this route is not a getx property but it is a default property of flutter to define the named routes it requires a json or a map structure so we have to define two things or we have to define the two strings over here so first of all as a key value pair we have to define the key as a string so i'm going to define a slash this means that this is the default path that i want to use inside my application this slash means default path and then again because this is not a getx so we have to use the context then using fat arrows we are going to define which screen should be triggered whenever this default route will be clicked so i want to display the first screen as a default screen and then press ctrl d to duplicate i want to display the second screen but this time remember that i want to use this string whenever this string will be called right over here i want to display the second screen so this is how we define all the routes and those routes will be appeared inside our urls now if i'm going to save this i might get an error yes you can see over here this means that home is equals equal to null or routes dot contains key which is a default route name it is basically saying that we cannot use this default key along with the home right so we have to comment this because these two are very much same so let me save this and you can see it's working now this sign is automatically taking us to the first screen so we are seeing the first screen right in front of us so when i'm going to click on this name navigation it should take us to the second screen and right at the top you can see it is written exactly as second screen and same way with the getx we have the second screen so now let's move toward the third thing which is using or which is passing the data we can pass the data using the default arguments approach but we cannot pass the data with a url method using a default flutter approach okay i've created the third section pass the data we have a text and then again we have three buttons the same as we saw earlier so let me save this you can see we have three buttons get x pass data pass data in url and pass data in url with arguments so the first one is very much similar to pass the data to the next screen we just have to call get dot to named we are using get x over here so get dot to named we are going to call the next screen that is already defined at the top and as a data we are going to pass those arguments so how are you going to receive those arguments let me minimize this down below over here as a body in the second screen i have created a body with a center and a column inside the text i want to display the data sent as an argument when this screen is called so to do that we call the data is sent using the getx approach so we are going to call the get dot simply call the arguments so whatever is inside this argument we can simply receive those as it is if we have only one value because in our case we have only one value so we do not need to define that one value so by using get dot arguments we are going to get it right over here so if in case they are null we are going to use the default data remove this constant now let's save it and i'm going to click on this get x pass data this get x pass data should take to the second screen where the get x is fun with coding with t so let's click on it and you can see we have received our data right over here but you can see when i'm going to click on this we have nothing inside the url this means these arguments cannot add anything in the url so how are you going to add these things in the url if you see the second example the second button in which i call the same approach get dot two named then again the same string which is a second screen but after the second screen i have added a question mark device is equal to phone id is equal to this and so how are you going to pass those things in the url and how are you going to receive those things right so let me save it again now when i'm going to click on this pass data in url it's not going anywhere because if you open this you can see an error which is could not find a generator for route this route this means that it cannot generate anything for us so to handle this or to make it work we are not going to use the default routes instead we are going to use get pages which is going to require the list of pages it is very similar to routes uh, these routes above but we have to use get page instead as a name we can define the first one then as a page we can create a function empty function using fat arrows we can call whatever screen we want to be redirected to and by control d we can create as many pages as we want change this to second screen okay now when i have added these get pages let me save it again and when again i'm going to click on this past data you can see we have 
now the url second screen device is equal to phone uid is equal to this exactly what we wanted and now things are looking very much professional we send the data now we have to receive that data on the other end which is the second screen and to get the data i'm going to duplicate these text three times okay i have used three text over here the first one or to the way to get the data you can see at the top we use the arguments because arguments are not going to lie inside the url whereas the parameters will be inside the url so now it is going to go for the parameters get dot parameters and which parameter we are looking for inside this url you can see the url it is going to look for the parameters which is after this question mark we have a device which is parameter and id is a parameter and name is a parameter so we're going to look for the parameter which is device and what is the value of this device is equal to phone and parameter of this id is 354 and name is enzo this means that these three things should get the name so when i'm going to save this you can see we have device phone id this one and name is this one because everything was already in the url and i'm just going to press the save button it is displaying all these things right in front of us we're going to talk about that how we are going to or how we can pass the complete user let's say we have two ways to call this second screen so i'm going to press ctrl d make sure to add a forward slash and then over here we can use this forward slash colon user id so what this is going to do this is going to allow us that we define these inside the get pages inside the material app this is going to allow us that we can use the simple second screen and also we can use the second screen with the user id so let's create another button and before that you can see over here we have a get dot two name we call the second screen we pass all the parameters and along with that we also send the arguments this means that when i'm going to click on this pass data and url with arguments it is going to send the argument first not the first bit i'm displaying at first but it is going to send argument as well as all the parameters so it's all up to us whatever we want to display okay now let me just copy this one more time and in the first screen we are not going to pass anything it should appear again it should lead us to the second screen but we also want to pass a data not like this but using a slash and the user id directly we are passing the user id we're not adding a question mark we are not adding anything else but directly adding the id so to do that let's say one two three four is the id i'm going to save this now we have two buttons second one is one two three four so you can see the url take us to the second screen which is one two three four we did not receive any of the default values but let's duplicate it and as a parameter we we're passing the user id it should be similar to this one so let's save it and you can see by saving this we have one two three four exactly what is written over here is being displayed so that's it for today's tutorial once again make sure to subscribe thank you for watching and take care